Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and in this video, I go over the best ways to get microconverters in Beach Swim Simulator. In this video, I go from less efficient methods to the most efficient methods. So make sure to stick to the end of the video if you want to see the best methods. Starting off with a method that isn't really a way to get microconverters, but kind of counts as a microconverter. For one ticket, you can use these instant converters around the map. There are three of them being in the starter zone, the 10B zone, and the 25B zone. Although these work well, it's annoying to have to leave a field in the middle of the boost just to go convert if you don't have any microconverters. The next method requires a lot of luck, but you can use Cub Buddies to get microconverters. Cub Buddies have a chance to drop one microconverter and if you're lucky, five microconverters at once. I'm not too sure what the odds of this happening are, but I do know it's possible since it's happened to me a couple times. Now the next way to get microconverters is killing the tunnel bear. You usually get one every single time and sometimes you can get 10 of them. Make sure to use baby love whenever you're killing mobs. Another mob that gives microconverters is the werewolf that can give a lot of them depending on the amount of loot luck your character has. Now the next method is what I used to get a lot of microconverters. Memory matches. Every memory match can give microconverters. Some can give one, some can give two, and some even give three. These Mega Memory Matches include the small one, the big one, the Mega Memory Match, and the Nighttime Memory Match. So if you get lucky and get all the microconverters from every single memory match, you can get 9 microconverters. Another way to get a lot of microconverters is donating to the Wind Shrine. If you donate something very specific, sometimes you can get a message that says some sort of badge you have begins to shiver. This means instead of getting wins, you're going to get some rewards from the Wind Shrine. If you want to know more about the Wind Shrine Badgers, I recommend checking out Dizzle's video about that. And if you want to know what to donate to get something specifically, like microconverters, check out the generic news video to see more about that. Both are linked in the description. Now the best way to get microconverters, in my opinion, is killing the coconut crab. The faster you kill it, the better the rewards, but usually you can get 8 to 15 microconverters per kill. I'm not too sure baby love helps with this, but I do know the faster you kill it, the better the rewards typically tend to be. Now a problem with microconverters is that you can only carry 15 at a time, which isn't that much. But there's a way to get more than 15 at a time. If an NPC gives you microconverters as a quest reward, and if you have 15 microconverters in your inventory, you will then get however much the NPC is giving you plus 15, making you be able to bypass the 15 microconverter limit on its set on them. Anyway, that's my short guide on how to get microconverters faster in Beast Simulator. If you want to see more guides like these, then let me know in the comments. Also, tell me if I miss any methods. Hopefully, Beast comes soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.